Your computer uses a character set to represent the different numbers and symbols and letters that you can type with your keyboard or insert with the symbols commands. Most of the time you don't need to know what those codes are, but occasionally you'll have to investigate something and the code function in Excel will help you figure out what number represents any character or number or symbol that you've put into the worksheet. For example, if I type the lowercase a and press tab or enter, I've got a formula in here using the code function that tells me that a is represented by number 97. An uppercase a is 65. In this example I've copied some text from a website so it looks like four letters but when I use the len function for the length it shows me there are five characters. So with the code function, I can test one letter in this string. I want to look at the last letter. So I've got a formula in here using the code function. I look at the rightmost character, so one character at the right in B3. When I press enter, we can see that it's character 160, which is a non-breaking space. So we could create a macro or use a formula that would get rid of any character 160 in our Excel file. Another example is that you might have symbols that you want to insert several times. You can do that by going to the Insert tab on the ribbon and using the Symbol command and here, here's a copyright symbol, so I might want to insert that. If I click Insert and Close, it's in the cell. And my formula, using the code function, tells me that's character represented by code 169. So instead of going to the ribbon all the time, I can just use the keyboard. You can use the numeric keypad, not the regular numbers at the top of the keyboard and press the ALT key and then type 0, 1, 6, 9. And when I press enter it automatically inserts that symbol for me. So with the code I found out what symbol I need and then I can use the number keypad to quickly insert that in my worksheet.